Morning, everyone. Morning. 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 That's not a Spitfire's welcome, is it? <laughs> morning, everyone. Morning, 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 morning. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay, so I, I want to see your, uh, I want to see how fast your fingers are this morning. So I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to type the first word that comes into your mind. So I want you to put in the chat bar the most fragile thing you can think of. So come on, and and uh, I'll make the joke so you don't have to. Greg's ego is not the right answer. So, um, <laughs> so what have we got? We've got life. Oh, oh, that was deep, Max. Life, uh, trust, eggs, your four-year-old spider's web, glass. Wow, we got a lot of eggs. It's not Easter yet. You know that, don't you? Uh, relationships. My God. My God. Oh. Oh, Paul's heart. Oh. <laughs> Oh, bless you. No, no, no. See, all these are great answers. And in some cases, very, very sad answers. Uh, John, John always manages to bring it back to his Fermo mix. So well done, John, for mentioning your sourdough. Um, that must be star tonight. Think about something that is so fragile that when you touch it, it disappears. Don't touch it. Bubble. Bubble. Oh, bubbles, a good one. Snow, yes, absolutely, a snowflake. Imagine a snowflake, something so fragile that the heat from your finger will mm. make it disappear forever. <laughs> and they're beautiful and unique. And the thing about snow is that on its own, it's pretty fragile. It's fleeting. It's gone in an instant. However, what happens when snow bands together? What happens when snowflakes get together? Well, the first thing you can do is you can form a perfectly round ball and throw it at someone as they're walking away and then pretend it wasn't you. Do it. It's amazing. Uh, the next thing you can build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Elsa. Do yes, we do. Do you want to hide a body? <laughs> <laughs> See, when snow gets together, it can stop trains it can ground planes and it can bring the whole transport infrastructure to a halt however when snow is used for good things and it falls on the foothills of the alps every single year it generates a 60 billion pound industry it's a, a snowflake is fragile but snow is one of the most powerful forces you are ever likely to come across. And why am I telling you about snow? Well, what's the one thing we also know about snowflakes? They're all unique. They're, They're all unique, boy Sam. Band. Yes, well done, Sam, for having the courage to speak up. They are all unique. You will never find one exactly the Let same. Talk in Henry's well, that's like small businesses. You see... We have, <laughs> Lisa just realised she wasn't on mute. That was very good. <laughs> Lisa. So when we look at small businesses, yes, David Sprague is a printer and there may be other printers. I don't know of any, but there may be other printers in the local area. But I know David's unique. David's unique because he is the only printer with a proper print factory in the whole of Bromley. Isn't that right, David? Yes, everyone's yes, nodding. Yes, 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 and yes, David yes. has also recreated the New York skyline out of old cardboard folders in his office. If you ever go there, it is a thing of beauty. <laughs> and that's the thing. All small businesses are unique. So you may be a flooring contractor, but you will use slightly different products and you will go about things in slightly different ways. So all small businesses are unique. And I hate to tell you, but all small businesses are fragile. We know that 90% of small businesses fail in their first year. And when you look, uh, sorry, in their first five years, and when you look at the next five years, a further 90% of the 10% that are left also fail. So if you've made it to 10 years old as a business, you are in just 5% of businesses overall. So it can be quite a scary place. Mm. When businesses band together, they can be a force to be reckoned with. You see, when these businesses here banded together, they are all unique and we only allow one of each profession in the room. But when they banded together, they are passing in excess of 1.8 million pounds worth of business every single year. And we know that when you spend money locally, it stays 
in the local community and goes around between five and seven times. So their business is more is worth more like 10 million pounds to the local community. And when you spend money local, the whole community benefits. So we know that there are people on this call that employ local people. So the 2.4 kids and the spouse will also benefit from the BNI memberships that are here. We see wonderful things like supporting Lisa's charity and the mayoral causes. So we know that pro-social acts of giving replicate and become transcendent force that go around time and time again. So being part of BNI is like being part of a transcendent force that impacts not only your lives, but the lives of yours around you. And for our visitors here today, we know it can be scary out there on your own. We know it can feel like you're fragile and that a single touch may make you disappear. However, we invite you to be part of our flurry, our flurry of business that we take part in every single week. Because when you bind together with us, we are unstoppable. So I have one question for our guests in the room. Do you want to be a snowflake? Or do you want to be part of a BNI business blizzard? <laughs>